missed you guys desperately. I am wearing a scarf because it's still very cold. In fact, I understand that in Minnesota, it's gonna get two feet this weekend. What is that? That is awful. That is the worst thing I've ever heard. No, it's not, but it's really bad. Can you imagine being that person? I can't. Anyway, so listen, today I'm gonna be cooking Brussels sprouts because I love them and I make them at least three times a week. Why you ask? Because roasted vegetables are really filling and delicious. But I'm not telling you that because I'm roasting them. I'm telling you that because it's true. Also delicious, candy and cookies and um, um, steak. But today I'm not going to be making steak. I'll be making pork chops, which is the other white meat, which frankly might be a little racist. I don't know. Uh, some things that have happened to me in my past life, and this has been a while since I've seen you. I went to Disney World, not Land, which is my personal favorite because that's where my childhood really began. It was after Grandpa, maybe Joe, I think his name might have been Joe, he died. And my mother made my siblings go to the funeral, but for some reason she took me to Disneyland the day of his funeral. Siri siblings, National Sibling Days was yesterday. Salute! I hope it was good for you guys as it was for me. Um, so anyway, at Disney World, whew, I ate a lot of stuff, mostly chicken fingers because um, I don't know what it is about them, but if they're sitting on a plate, I'm just gonna eat them up, gobble them up, yum, 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 like I'm some kind of uh, robot of food. Um, I gotta go, I gotta step away and get, um, it's called a knife, because if I'm gonna make these Brussels sprouts deliciously, I've got to cut them in half. They roast better that way. Here I go, boink. Look, my kitchen is sort of clean. Also, I got a new camera. Don't I look beautiful? Don't, stop, stop, you don't have to lie. Um, so anyway, I like to buy these Brussels sprouts. They're man's. Yeah, I don't have to mansplain that, do I? Okay, great. Um, I um, I still I still make my uh, pasta, in fact, I made pasta on um, um, Jeepers. I, I was gonna say, I'm gonna say Sunday. I think it was a, a, a different day for me to make the, the pasta because I usually make it on a weeknight because it's pretty easy. It's 30 minutes tops, 40 maybe. Um, in fact, I'm cooking a little later and my boys uh, had a snack and they're eating it now. And trust me when I say, I bet they don't eat dinner tonight because I gave them some GD um, snackity snicks. Uh, also, um, I love it. I love just feeding those little, <laughs> right? Am I right? So anyway, here I am. I'm cutting up Brussels sprouts in half like this. Sometimes I do a fourth of them. I don't use bacon, but I love bacon and don't think I'm not gonna tell you that ever again. What? Uh, and then uh, after that, I, I, uh, I'm gonna fry up some, well, not really fry, I mean like skillet, skillet pan them. I guess that's frying, right? But I don't really use, I mean like I spray it down. Um, yeah, that's Lou, Lou, Lou. You got me. I cut this in half with my mind. The knife is just here for fun. It's just to make you think I'm a, I'm a, uh, I'm not this powerful be being that we all know I am and love, love, so much love. Anyway, so Atticus is still hungry, guys. Um, come get some pretzels. What I do is I carbo load them. Uh, I figured that they were going to run a marathon eventually, so why not just start it now? Uh, also, terrible mother. I'm a terrible mother. Today, one of the first things I said out of my mouth, out of this mouth right here, was shut up. Um, so, I'm cooking with gas. Hi, Shannon. Uh, and speaking of gas, I've had some lately. Uh, but you know what? It's because of all of it really bad food I ate uh, in the, the world of the mouse who seems to have his, his shit together if I could be so bold. Hey, Lou, did, uh, did Dan tell you that I saw him at Disney World? Fact. Um, because 
It's a small world after all, okay? All right, everybody, let's sing it together. Uh, we don't have to. Uh, I didn't even write that right. You know why? It's stupid. And also, I wasn't hot enough. Yeah, I bet you were. Um, so what else? Oh my gosh, look at the size of this one. This is a Brussels sprout. This is what our our people, are, our, our, our ranchers, our folks, our farmers are forced to make Brussels sprouts this big. And you know what happens when you make Brussels sprouts this big? We're all going to get brain cancer. But you know what? I had a brain tumor at 18 months. And look at me now. I'm fine. That's what she said literally. I love it. Um, I got to use literally less because I feel like I'm not literally using it correctly. Just a little fun fact about that and me. This uh, this uh, cookie with Mo Show is uh, brought to you by Hot 97 and New York One. Picture this. A man you never met before suddenly gives you flowers. That's a movie type thing if you wanted it to be, but it's also Impulse, which is a commercial from the 90s. Because all of my references, it's true I had a brain tumor. I have a, a, a soft spot that never grew in because they cut it out. Some fun mo facts today. Uh, I'm glad you like them, uh, Jamie. Are you a, a salt girl or how do you make them? I put some olive oil and some, uh, some uh, the, the thick salt, the fat salt, the Jewish salt, the, co the kosher, the kosher salt. Wow. <laughs> Losing subscribers left and right with my, 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 my inability to know what I do with my mouth when it's open. You know what? Today I was going to have to um, rap, uh, live rap on the show. And guess what? Didn't have to. And that right there, that's a miracle. And that's what I say about that. You guys, um, this is a lot of fun. What are you guys going to do for your summer vacation? Because I right now... Ooh, duck fat. Cheapers. That is so Canadian. Um, uh, right now, I'm planning my kids' uh, uh, summer camp schedule. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of that. It's, uh, it's a lot of work, a lot of money, and it really F's up every schedule that you have. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, uh, what? I have to pick them up earlier? Come on. Come on, the whole reason I had children is so that I could work. You know what I mean? Because who wants to be a part of their lives? Right, guys? I'm kidding if they're listening. I really love my children. Disney World actually proved it uh, because they're still alive. I, um, I'm thinking about putting that up camp that I don't even like, but I think they both will like it. Ooh, Nicole. Brussels sprouts with bacon and a little apple cider vinegar. That sounds Awesome. I talked about the bacon earlier. It's not that I don't love bacon because I do, if you could only see my ass. It's more that uh, it takes more time because I'd have to make the bacon, then uh, put the bacon, get the bacon, and then cut out the bacon, the bacon. You know, a lot of bacon, <laughs> bacon y. Could you just use bacon bits? I wonder if there's bacon bits that aren't fake. I mean, besides me making them. I'm all about convenience because, you know, when you work, Nine to five, it's a way to make a living. Gotta get alive. All taken and no given. I am fine with this knife. Fine, fine, fine. Oh no! Call 911! <laughs> Guys, uh, I am. See what I'm doing? Lou, you are following along with me. Oh, speaking of um, improv, which we're not. But um, I'm gonna, I think gonna be doing some improv shows here coming up in New Jersey. Uh, I hope you guys can come. I promise to tell you about it and, and, it, and then I'll tell you about it after it's over too. I'm excited. Uh, my friend Lulu French, who's not on here, but I bet she's uh, working because that's what we do. We just work, work, work. Work, 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 work. All I do is work, 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 work. And I think that girl, what's her name? I really like her. She's so good. Such a talent. Anyway, the cooked bacon by Oscar Mayer. But think about that. Who cooked it? It kind of is my fear of um, uh, edible arrangements. I don't like that stuff. And yet I will eat stra doc 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 
chocolate covered strawberries. But now I learned that strawberries are the number one thing that you need to get organic because of all the pesticides. You guys, we're killing ourselves faster than we ever could. So, um, we're, we're totally, pro I can't, I can show you, you guys, watch out. Watch this, I'm gonna show you something. Look at that, totally doing it. That's MoCam. Um, I, uh, I'm almost finished with the chopping and then I'm gonna have to go and put this in the oven for a little bit. It's 6.10, I'm thinking maybe 6.40. Oh, that's a late dinner. Guess who's not gonna have those Brussels sprouts? It's my children. <laughs> Oops. Uh, I Becky, I just showed you guys my, my vegetables. You, did you see them? And I'm gonna show you again. Yes, whippersnackers. That's not an expression, whippersnapper. Those are my vegetables. Um, okay, so I will, um, I'll try to do this again more often than I have been, because I enjoy it. I like you guys, and um, I hope that you have watched, oh, cheapers! have you guys seen uh, Wild Wild Country? Because I, I really need you guys to watch it because I need other people to talk to. I, the kids don't exist. I've never had kids. Uh, I need to talk to you about Wild Wild Country as soon as possible. So you guys get on it, watch it. We'll be talking about it on uh, the Jenny McCarthy Show on Monday if you guys want to call in. But if you want to talk to me on Facebook, I will talk to you about it on Facebook. It is so good. And it's funny, I don't remember any of it. It was from 81 to 85, I believe. And I was in Alaska at the time. And, um, and, um, but my dad still lived in Oregon. And he, so I would go back and forth and we once to drove right through where it was happening in, uh, in, um, oh, sugar. What's the name? Antelope? I think the name of it was Antelope. Um, I have a question, Danielle, that I'm going to text you because I, I wanted to ask you today on the bus and then I forgot and then I'm remembering again. That's right. Or my kids are ghosts and that I've already killed. <laughs> that went even too far for me. And on that note, I just like to say happy National Pet Day. I forgot what national day it was. I like to dedicate it to my cats who uh, sadly live in the basement. Callie and Diego, and also to the reason they live in the basement, uh, Cavalier Lykowski. Um, and thank you guys so much. I'm going to talk to you later. Okay, okay, bye, bye, bye.